Nine-year-old girl will make history by becoming the youngest pupil. Now, a nine-year-old girl will make history by becoming the youngest pupil ever to be offered a secondary school place in Britain. Samantha Imavadon entered the record books in 2004 when she became the youngest person to get GCSEs in two separate subjects at the age of six. However, Samantha is just one child in what is probably Britain's brainiest family. A younger brother and sister, six-year-old twins Peter and Paula, last year also passed GCSEs. Samantha and her father Chris join us now. Very good afternoon to both of you. Good afternoon. Nice to see you here. Samantha, how do you do it? What's, what's the secret? Well, um, I go to a support group which is Excellence in Education and they teach gifted children and then from there I was able to get my... But, but what is, I mean, you know, you're, you're part of the brainiest family in Britain, so obviously you've inherited the, the brainy gene, but what is your personal secret? How have you managed on an educational level to progress so far so early? Well, um, in the textbook I found mistakes of like mean and medium, they are asking a question twice, and that's where I got my gifted talent from there. So you actually went to the textbook and you, you found errors there? Yes, I That did. is extraordinary. I mean, Chris, what is it like having not only one daughter, but other children with this level of sheer cleverness, this ability? I think it's sometimes it can be very frustrating because you have a child that's four or three asking a question, you try and fob him off and he comes back again with the same question, and then you give him a dismissive answer, and then you think you've probably dealt with a question and then keeps persisting. And so what we have to do is try and answer the questions as best as we can. And sometimes we're forced to research those questions so that we can satisfy the need because it's constantly being very inquisitive. That, that, I think that's a uh, bottom line. But if you go so, back to, to your childhood and your wife's childhood, um, did, did you have this level of ability, either of you, at, at such a young age? Um, um, none that I can recall. No, nothing extraordinary. Just, just a, a normal, normal, in the top half of the class. Yeah. Rather than the bottom half. Well, that's pretty so, good anyway. I mean, yeah. wh where did your other children's expertise in so many areas, this ability to pass exams, going to s secondary st school, go early, where do you think it came from? Um, I think it's partly because we have an enabling environment where we allow the children to do essentially what they want to do and then feed the habit. Because I'm pretty sure there are other children in the country that if they are given the right environment, will be able to progress even at a faster pace instead of having a predefined opinion on what a nine-year-old or a six-year-old or a seven-year-old could do. Because if you look at, uh, f for instance, Anne-Marie, the eldest girl, she pick up the computer, want to rip the computer apart and find out what is inside the computer. And it was out of that curiosity that, that it just progressed on and on and she was able to pick up her GCSEs at 10. And, and at 11, she's already done her A-level computing. And at 13, she was uh, given a scholarship to do undergraduate studies at John Hopkins in the US. Absolutely so, fascinating. So, so, so Samantha, how does it affect your relationships with other children of your age who haven't progressed to this level? Well, it doesn't really affect me in any way. It's just that I'm more smarter than the people there. It, does, the does, that make, does that annoy them? Does it make them cross or jealous? Mm, some of them, yes. Mm. And how do you cope with that? Well, I'm, I, don't, I try to help them with their work so that they can get to the same standard as, I, standard as I am, so they can do what I've done. How do you feel about going to a school where uh, your co-pupils will be so much older than you? I, I, do you have any worry about that? No, I don't have any worry because I've always been working with older people because um, when I sat my GCSEs, obviously there were um, teenagers there, with that, so I was used to working with them. Well, I think that's fantastic. We do wish you well. Samantha, Chris, thank you both. So, wow.